Item number SCP-727-J Object Class Keter Special Contain Procedures Due to SCP-727-J's size and presence, it is becoming increasingly difficult to contain. Currently a 1,500,000 km by 1,500,000 km by 1,500,000 km carbon steel containment cube is being constructed. However, Current estimates predict construction with current Foundation resources will take 150 million years. Until such time as SCP-727-J is contained, personnel are recommended to not look upwards during daytime hours, in case of any psychic attack from SCP-727-J. SCP-727-J is a large celestial object positioned approximately 149,600,000 km from the Earth and is 1,391,000 km in diameter. SCP-727-J was originally considered to be of considerably smaller volume. However, examination by Foundation personnel led to the discovery of its large size and classification as the SCP object. SCP-727-J breaks several known physical laws. It does not fall into the Earth, but instead remains suspended above it. As well, it appears to be able to generate flame in the absence of oxygen. Study into how this is accomplished has been unsuccessful. SCP-727-J appears to have some form of psychic influence on the Earth, causing the Earth to rotate in a circular path around SCP-727-J. SCP-727-J also has a mimetic effect of causing itself to appear to rotate around the Earth. This is suspected as a mechanism to make itself appear more harmless. SCP-727-J is capable of reaching extremely high temperatures. During testing, several D-Class personnel were ejected into SCP-727-J, and all were found to be incinerated. Continual exposure to the rays emitted by SCP-727-J causes radiation burns. Malevolence of SCP-727-J is suspected. Addendum 727-JA During routine examination of Foundation airspace, Foundation personnel discovered several thousand possible instances of SCP-727-J. Construction of containment chambers for each instance is currently underway. Addendum 727-JB Due to the increasing threat imposed by SCP-727-J, SCP-1543-J02 was commissioned and built for the purpose of attempting to destroy SCP-727-J with different objects. Addendum 727-JC SCP-1960-J has been observed to temporarily disable SCP-727 periodically. Research into harnessing this technology is currently underway. Experiment Log 727-J Object used Standard Class B Fire Extinguisher Observations: The fire extinguisher failed to activate and spray SCP-727-J. Recommendation to use a handler of the fire extinguisher next time. Object used: Standard Class B fire extinguisher, D-Class handler. Observations: D-5673 failed to activate the fire extinguisher before being incinerated by SCP-727-J. Recommendation for handler to be wearing an airtight suit. Object used: Standard Class B fire extinguisher, D-Class handler in airtight suit. Observations: Amount of foam generated by the fire extinguisher insufficient to extinguish SCP-727-J. Recommendation to build Jupiter-sized fire extinguisher. Note: Jupiter-sized fire extinguisher currently under consideration. Object used: A 150-kilometer long fire hose connected to the Pacific Ocean. Observations Failed to make any noticeable change. Project abandoned after five days. Object used 1,435 D-Class personnel instructed to stop, drop, and roll. Observations SCP-727-J failed to be smothered. All personnel incinerated.